Imagine a day dedicated to the Earth, sparking debates instead of universal celebration. Earth Day, observed globally on April 22nd, aims to raise awareness and rally action for environmental protection. Yet, behind its green facade, Earth Day stirs controversy, igniting discussions that reach far beyond planting trees or reducing plastic use. Why, you might wonder, would a day focused on saving our planet become a hotbed of contention? In this video, we'll dive into the heart of the debates surrounding Earth Day. From accusations of corporate greenwashing to debates over environmental policies, we'll explore why a day designed to unite us in environmental stewardship sometimes ends up dividing opinion. Whether you're a staunch environmentalist or a skeptic of global initiatives, understanding the complexities behind Earth Day's controversies can shed light on the broader challenges of addressing environmental issues. Join us as we unravel the layers, offering six reasons into why Earth Day remains a subject of vibrant discussion and sometimes discord. If you like holiday-themed videos, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel where we celebrate all things holidays every day. What is Earth Day? Earth Day is an annual event celebrated around the world on April 22nd to demonstrate support for environmental protection. First celebrated in 1970, it now includes a wide range of events coordinated globally by EarthDay.org, formerly known as the Earth Day Network, involving over 1 billion people in more than 193 countries. The day serves as a conscious reminder of our shared responsibility to safeguard the environment, highlighting issues such as pollution, deforestation, loss of biodiversity, and the urgent need for climate action. The idea for Earth Day was proposed by Gaylord Nelson, a U.S. Senator from Wisconsin, after witnessing the ravages of a massive oil spill in Santa Barbara, California in 1969. Inspired by the student anti-war movement, he realized that if he could infuse that energy with an emerging public consciousness about air and water pollution, it would force environmental protection onto the national political agenda. Nelson recruited Dennis Hayes, a young activist, to organize the first Earth Day. The event was successful beyond expectation, leading to the creation of the United States Environmental Protection Agency and the passage of the Clean Air, Clean Water, and Endangered Species Acts. Earth Day is a time to reflect on our planet's health and take action to preserve and protect it for future generations. It's marked by activities such as planting trees, cleaning up litter, advocating for policy changes, and educating others about the importance of the environment. Earth Day aims to inspire awareness and appreciation for the Earth's natural environment and mobilize people to participate in sustainable practices. So why is there controversy surrounding Earth Day? Here are six reasons. Marijuana. Earth Day is celebrated annually on April 22nd. It coincides with 420, an unofficial marijuana holiday celebrated on April 20th. While there may not be widespread controversies surrounding the overlap of Earth Day and 420, some discussions have arisen regarding the conflicting environmental impacts of cannabis cultivation and consumption with the principles of Earth Day. However, Earth Day primarily focuses on broader environmental awareness and action rather than specific controversies related to marijuana use on the same date. Two lack of inclusivity. When we think of Earth Day and the broader environmental movement, images of tree planting, recycling, and marches for climate action might spring to mind. However, a critical examination reveals a more complex picture, especially concerning who has been leading these efforts and whose voices have been heard, or more pointedly, not heard. Critics point out that the environmental movement, including Earth Day, has largely been shaped and dominated by predominantly white voices, overlooking the perspectives, experiences, and needs of marginalized communities. This lack of inclusivity raises significant concerns and sparks controversy for several reasons. Moreover, the environmental movement's focus has often been criticized for emphasizing conservation and wilderness protection over the environmental injustices that affect human communities. While preserving natural landscapes is undoubtedly important, this focus can overlook the immediate environmental health concerns faced by marginalized populations, such as clean water access, air quality, and exposure to toxic waste. 
As a result, the movement has sometimes been seen as out of touch with the realities of those who live on the front lines of environmental crises. The call for inclusivity is not just about making the environmental movement more diverse, it's about enriching the movement with a broader range of experiences, ideas and strategies for tackling environmental issues. By incorporating the voices and leadership of marginalized communities, the movement can address a wider array of concerns and develop more effective, equitable solutions to environmental challenges. This approach recognizes that achieving environmental sustainability and justice requires the involvement and empowerment of all communities, especially those most affected by environmental degradation. In response to these critiques, there's a growing effort within the environmental movement to prioritize environmental justice, elevate diverse voices, and ensure that Earth Day and other environmental initiatives reflect and serve the needs of all communities. By doing so, the movement aims to become more inclusive, equitable, and capable of addressing the complex environmental challenges facing our planet today. 3. Accessibility Issues Some people dislike Earth Day because they believe that wilderness areas remain inaccessible to many due to financial and time constraints exacerbating social inequities. While Earth Day is celebrated worldwide with activities encouraging environmental stewardship, not everyone feels included or able to participate fully in these green initiatives. A point of contention that surfaces around Earth Day concerns the accessibility of nature and wilderness areas. Some critics argue that despite the push for conservation and outdoor activities, enjoying these natural spaces remains a privilege that not everyone can afford. This situation highlights a broader issue of social inequity within the environmental movement and raises questions about who gets to participate in Earth Day activities and benefit from its goals. Financial constraints are a significant barrier for many families and individuals. Visiting national parks or engaging in outdoor activities often involves travel costs, entrance fees, and sometimes equipment that can be expensive. For people living paycheck to paycheck, these expenses can make such outings seem like luxuries rather than accessible ways to connect with nature and participate in Earth Day. Time constraints also play a crucial role in limiting accessibility. Individuals working multiple jobs or those with caregiving responsibilities may find it difficult to carve out time to engage with nature or attend Earth Day events. This disparity means that while some people can take the day to plant trees, attend workshops or enjoy the great outdoors, others are left out not by choice but by circumstance. The issue extends beyond just the ability to participate in Earth Day activities. It touches on the broader theme of environmental justice, which argues that access to clean, healthy and safe natural environments is a right that should be afforded to all, regardless of socio-economic status. When discussing accessibility, it's essential to recognize that enjoying the wilderness and participating in conservation efforts should not exacerbate social inequities, but should be opportunities available to everyone, contributing to a healthier planet and society. Addressing these accessibility issues means rethinking how Earth Day and environmental initiatives are structured. It involves creating more local, affordable and inclusive activities that acknowledge and bridge the gap between different communities' experiences with nature. By doing so, Earth Day can truly fulfill its mission of inspiring and promoting environmental responsibility and action among all people, not just those with the means to participate in traditional ways. 4. Environmental Justice Concerns Earth Day may be controversial due to disparities in environmental impacts, with certain communities bearing the brunt of pollution and environmental degradation. Environmental issues do not affect all communities equally. Marginalized communities, often comprising people of color and economically disadvantaged groups, are disproportionately affected by environmental problems like pollution, climate change, and lack of access to green spaces. These communities are frequently located in areas with higher pollution levels, near factories, waste disposal sites, or in flood-prone regions, exposing residents to greater health and safety risks. However, their unique challenges and contributions to environmental justice have historically been underrepresented 
in mainstream environmental campaigns, including Earth Day celebrations and initiatives. Five, political polarization, especially in the context of Earth Day and environmental issues, refers to how people's political beliefs can lead to sharply divided opinions on how to address environmental problems. This division often falls along party lines, with differing views on the causes, impacts, and solutions to environmental challenges. For example, opinions on climate change and how much humans contribute to it can vary significantly between political groups. Some may argue for immediate, aggressive action to combat climate change, emphasizing renewable energy and strict regulations on pollution. In contrast, others may question the extent of human impact on the climate or prioritize economic considerations over environmental regulations. These polarized views can lead to challenges in passing environmental legislation or reaching a consensus on policies aimed at protecting the environment. For instance, debates over the role of government in regulating emissions from factories and vehicles can become contentious, with some viewing such regulations as necessary for public health and environmental protection, while others see them as burdensome for businesses and the economy. This polarization can hinder the progress of crucial environmental policies intended to address issues highlighted during Earth Day, such as reducing pollution, conserving natural resources, and transitioning to sustainable energy sources. Six, legacy and effectiveness. Earth Day, celebrated annually on April 22nd, was founded to raise awareness and foster action for environmental protection. However, its legacy and effectiveness have come under scrutiny Critics argue that while Earth Day has successfully brought environmental issues to the forefront, its impact in enacting significant lasting change is debatable. One concern is the event's commercialization. As Earth Day grew in popularity, companies began to see it as an opportunity for marketing, promoting products or initiatives as green or eco-friendly, often with more emphasis on appearance than actual environmental benefit. This phenomenon, known as greenwashing, can dilute the day's original message of profound environmental action. Moreover, some view Earth Day's activities as mostly symbolic gestures that don't necessarily translate into substantial or systemic change. For instance, planting trees or cleaning up litter are valuable actions, but they may not address larger issues such as climate change, pollution, and biodiversity loss at the scale needed to make a difference. Critics argue that for Earth Day to be truly effective, it must go beyond raising awareness to driving actionable changes in policy, corporate practices, and individual behaviors that have a more significant and measurable impact on the planet's health. In the face of controversies surrounding Earth Day, from questions of its effectiveness to concerns about commercialization, it's crucial to remember the day's foundational purpose, to unite individuals and communities in the fight against environmental degradation. The spirit of Earth Day lies not in the singular actions taken on April 22nd, but in the momentum it builds for ongoing commitment to the planet. As we navigate the complexities and challenges of modern environmentalism, Earth Day serves as a potent reminder of our collective responsibility. To move beyond symbolic gestures, it is imperative for individuals, communities, and policymakers to engage in sustained actions that address the root causes of environmental issues. This involves advocating for robust policies, supporting sustainable practices, and educating ourselves and others about the impact of our choices on the planet. As we reflect on the legacy of Earth Day, let us renew our commitment to environmental stewardship every day. Let this day be a call to action for all of us to play our part in protecting the Earth for future generations. The real measure of Earth Day's success will be in the tangible actions we take and the progress we make toward a healthier, more sustainable world. How do you feel about Earth Day? Are these concerns legitimate? And should Earth Day be controversial? Please let us know in the comments. If you found today's video informative or useful, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel where we celebrate all things holidays every day. Thanks for watching.